Hi everyone. Uh, last week I was talking to you happily about the deep bedding and the redoing of the bottom of the rum. Um, this week, unfortunately, we've had a little bit of a tragedy with the chickens. Um, if you keep chickens, most of you may know by now that from last November, the avian flu um, came in and DEFRA put in certain rules and regulations to stop it spreading. Um, and all of a sudden, yesterday, well, she's not been well for a couple of days, but I didn't really uh, pay, I didn't think it was avian flu anyway, put it that way, because the other four were absolutely fine. And as you may know, avian flu spreads really quickly. But she became ill, I took her up the vets, and the vet suspected that it was avian flu. I've had to have her put to sleep and they've actually had to incinerate her and all the protective gear and everything that they were using because it spreads so fast. So I'm really upset about it because they were doing so well and um, unfortunately last autumn as well we lost two of our cats, they became ill within weeks of each other and it must have been like within four weeks we had to have them both put to sleep so I'm still struggling with that one. So to lose one of the chickens now is a bit of a tragedy but um, I just kind of wanted to say to you if you have got chickens even if you've only got a handful in your garden there are legal requirements. The run does have to be covered the top of it obviously to stop the wild bird poop going in. Um, it is a legal requirement um, and the thing that I wanted to say as well, if you are found with your chickens running about, you can get fined, um, and it's thousands of pounds. So I just kind of wanted to remind people and, um, just to say, you know, to put a top on your, keep the chickens in for a start. I don't, I don't mean in the actual house. I mean, they can go out and about in the run that they're in, but they need to be in that run and confined to that run. Um, but there needs to be like a, a plastic cover actually on the run to stop the bird poop going in and to, to to put plastic all around the run as well if you can because um defra actually rang me last night because of what happened yesterday and um he said it the guy that i spoke to said that it can actually fly on the wind um and we've actually had a lot of uh really bad winds here lately so I'm, i do wonder if it had happened through that even though we've got covering on um, the, the door is still uh, open a bit, for, that's not covered in plastic, so I do wonder if it was that, but we'll never know, we're never going to find out the exact reason. Um, and the others are fine at the moment, but that doesn't mean that she didn't have it, the symptoms that she had were the same as what they get with avian flu. So, um, so I just wanted, as I say, just to say to everybody that if you have got chickens, please be careful because you know, if you say so if you find you can get fined, um, but you don't want to lose the chickens. I'm I'm upset about it, and obviously you don't want to lose your flock. So um, yeah, so if you cover the top, put plastic round, make sure that you're doing all the the clean, keep them clean. Uh, when you're in and out, if you can put a bucket or some sort of container with water with disinfectant in, so every time you go in, you're dipping your boots in that. Every time you come out, dip your boots in it again. Um, just things like that to keep to keep it all clean um, and if you can register with DEFRA even if you've only got two chickens just register with them and you will get the email um, all the emails that they send out where you know as it's spreading they tell you where it is and um, so that you can just you know keep up to date with it and also the the legal requirements that you have to do as well so because we need we need to stop it i think as i was reading up on some of it and i think um there is another a new strain and it's killed a lot of the crane birds i think it was in asia there's literally hundreds that are just just rolling you know just falling over and just dying from it so it is bad out there, as if we haven't gone through enough ourselves. Um, it is bad with all birds. So um, just really to say today, just a word of advice as, as you know, as to what I've been saying. And um, yeah, because you don't want to lose your birds. It is upsetting. And um, 
Oh, the other thing I was going to say, as far as I know, I did ask the chap, it is still okay to eat the eggs as long as they are properly cooked. Um, obviously, don't use, don't eat the eggs raw if anybody has them for, in drinks. Um, but yeah, just as long as they're properly cooked, they're fine. Um, and if you do get a sick chicken to um, just ring your vets, take it up the vets. If your vets doesn't do it, there is a list of vets who do deal with chickens. So um, yeah, just to ring the vets, take it up and they will, they will do what they did with mine probably. And they have to inform DEFRA, that's a legal requirement. They, they will inform DEFRA. And actually, if you do find any birds dead as well, do not touch them with your, your open hands. You must put gloves on um, and put them into plastic bags. But if you find you've got a whole load that have died, just don't touch them at all. Just ring DEFRA straight away um and they may they may come out well the chap said to me that um if if i have any more sick ones that they would come out so so yeah so i hope that's given you um not a fright <laughs> just a bit of information um that it is serious and the only you know we can all help to stop it um by just you know um following the guidelines really so um, there is a number you can ring DEFRA on, but if you just, obviously with Google, just tap in DEFRA and, and it will come up and register with them. Uh, I'll go on to uh, gov.uk, it's on there as well. So I hope that's given you a bit of, uh, a bit of information. And anyway, um, I will show you our house now, how we've got ours, and um, which you've probably already seen in the other videos actually, but I'll just, I'll just give a, a quick film of it. So um, thanks for watching and um, I just I really hope that this has just helped you. That's all I wanted to do. OK, bye bye for now.